Good morning everyone. We're last seen somewhere. The last place you saw us was Bridge North in Shropshire. And today we're in the University City of Oxford. Yeah, we're going to have a look around because there's meant to be loads to see here. There is, yeah. It's very full of history. Yeah. There's lots of historic buildings. There's a famous pub. There is a really famous pub which we're both looking forward to seeing, aren't we? Yeah, we're yeah. going to have a look at that. And it's also got connections to Alice in Wonderland yes, as well. So which I'm really excited about because I used to love Alice in Wonderland really when I was a kid, yeah. So, yeah. So lots to say. There is a hell of a lot to see here, I've got to be honest. Um, we drove up from Bristol last night and we're staying in the Buttery Hotel. Which is where we are now. Yeah. And <laughs> when we got here last night, we had an absolutely lovely evening. Oh yeah, really yeah, good. Really nice. Lovely. What pub was it? I think it was called the Red Lion Pub. It was a really nice pub. It was. Absolutely gorgeous pub. The weather is nice at the moment, so we had a really lovely warm night. Yeah, and summer's got finally arrived. Really hot days to it, <laughs> yeah. so yay! Fantastic. About time. Yes. It really is about time. The weather's been awful. So yeah, come join us today as we explore Oxford. I didn't know before we came to Oxford Bus that it's not just one university building. I've, I've never seen that before. Every other city I've been to, the university is just, just one big complex. Yeah, it's made up of 38 um, individual colleges all sort of dotted around the city. That's fascinating, that yeah. really is. And it is actually the oldest English-speaking university in the world. Is it really? Yeah. I did not know that. That's amazing. So the bridge you see behind us is called the Bridge of Size. Its real name is Hartford Bridge and it connects two parts of Hartford College. Why is it called the Bridge of Size? Basically, just because it looks like the Bridge of Size in Venice. Oh right, so it's not a lot of real reason all of it's saying. Not, not that I know of. Oh, okay. But it's a very nice looking bridge. It is very pretty, yeah, very, very ornate. ornate. Yeah, it is nice. And it's, it's sort of a landmark in Oxford, so because it's got an iconic looking bridge. So it yeah. is, I've seen it in movies and everything, yeah. Because yeah. even in the X-Men movies I've seen it. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. So we're walking around the grounds of the Bodleian Library, I think that's how you say it. <laughs> yeah, and as far as we can tell, there's lots of different buildings sort of set around courtyards. It is, there's, it is a library too, and there's signs everywhere telling you that you have to be quiet. So. Yeah, you've got to be a bit careful when you film here, because people are sort of in the library. They are, indeed. But it's the second largest library in the UK, and it, um, it's got 11 million different books on 120 miles of yeah, shelving. I think that's with 11 million books, that's a phenomenal amount. 120 miles of shelves. And every year they can request any book published in the UK to be added to their libraries. And they have to add three miles of shelves every Just year. Just to accommodate that. Yeah, which is absolutely crazy. But it's another beautiful building. Sort of building. It, it is it's absolutely lovely. fantastic again. Beautiful. The building behind us is the Radcliffe Camera, and you said it's a library, isn't it? Yeah, it's a library that's built right in the centre of Oxford. That's absolutely fantastic. It's a beautiful building. The buildings in Oxford have been absolutely stunning so far. I can't get over it, to be honest. Yeah, they're really ornate, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, beautiful. And this one was designed by uh, James Gibbs, and it's, it's a big round building. Yeah, it is. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, and when he designed it, he wanted a stone dome put on the top, but I actually didn't live long enough to see the building built. And when they got to the bit where they had to make the stone dome on the top, they didn't bother because it was too hard. And as he wasn't here anymore, they just put a metal roof on the top. But it still looks absolutely fantastic. Yeah, it really building. does.
So we're still in front of St Martin's or Corfax Tower. Yeah. Which is situated right in the centre of what's on the crossroads. It is right on the crossroads. It's really busy here and very busy indeed. And it's got a 74 foot tower on it and you can go up and you can actually see the views of all the city because it is in the centre of Oxford. They used to have a rule in place at one time that no buildings in Oxford could be taller than it. But um, there they are now, aren't they? Yeah, I think yeah, there are a few quite buildings a few now. that rule. Yeah. And it's got a clock on the front with little figures of chiming the bell every quarter of an hour. So we're going to wait and see. Wait and see what happens. I want to see what it looks like. Yeah, see what I'm quite interested to see how it But it is really busy right now. Yeah, it's packed. Um, that's a bit disappointing. Yeah, that really won't work right now. No. Anyway, it chimed. So. Yeah, it chimed. <laughs> And it's behind us again, it's like pantomime season. <laughs> it's behind you. <laughs> but it's one of the largest colleges in Oxford. It's one, it's one of the largest. Yeah. And it's quite a significant building. It's got a tower um, on the front of it, but it's got a bell in it from the great top. Yeah, it's super red. Yeah. And it's called Tom Tower. Um, um, it's where they got the inspiration for the Grand Hall from Harry Potter as well, yeah. isn't it? And the Golden Compass, you know, I don't know if they filmed it in there, but inspiration for that as well. So yeah. It's close today, we don't know why, we'll probably want to go. Yeah, we have. It's yeah, close to this, it's close yeah. today. It's a real shame. It's got a nice waterfall in the garden and everything, it yeah. looks really nice. But yeah, a lovely, lovely building. It's another fantastic building in Oxford, it really is. This lovely little shop with the red windows is Alice's shop and it was Alice Liddell's favourite shop when she was a little girl and she used to come in here and brush her sweets and Alice Liddell was the Alice from Alice in Wonderland and Alice Through the Looking Glass and this actually featured in Alice Through the Looking Glass and this is where she actually enters, goes into the shop and everything starts getting all distorted and strange. Main it really was. We were at Alice's shop and you could barely hear yourself think. Yeah, lots of buses. <laughs> it was. A, yeah, I think every bus from London was going up that road. But just next to Christchurch is Christchurch Meadow. Yeah, it's really nice too, isn't it? Yeah, even though there's lots of people here, it's very peaceful and very beautiful. It is really nice, very tranquil. It's like being in the middle of the countryside. It is. It's Oxford's oldest building. It was built in the 10th century, so it's really old. Yeah, it's Saxon, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And it's right next to a really funky looking wooden building. It's really nice, really quirky and all eggody pickledy. It's lovely. But they're both situated on a really sort of busy sort of shopping street, so yeah. they look really odd because they really stand out. They do. There's like coffee shops and people sit down having a lovely time. And right next to them, there's two really funky looking old buildings. It is really famous. It's where J.R. Tolkien and C.S. Lewis, with others, would meet informally and discuss their works together. They were called the Inklings, weren't yeah, they? Yeah, it was the Inklings of writing, but wasn't it? Yeah, they used to have a little room at the back called the Rabbit Room, and they'd all get together in there and talk about what they were writing. Yeah. Which, imagine being able to go back in time and have an earwig to what they were saying. Imagine being able to find the wall in there. Yeah, fantastic. It's a real, like, get your DeLorean out moment and have a look. It's brilliant. Yeah. Absolutely um, brilliant. Oh, 
Oxford got incredibly busy today, it really did. Yes, it was really, really busy and the sun was really, really hot and now I'm really, really pink. Yep, someone's forgot her sunscreen and is absolutely sunburnt to hell, so well done. There you go. <laughs> so we took a short drive outside of Oxford to Longworth yeah. and we stopped in a nice country pub called the Blue Boar. Yeah, but we didn't manage to fit everything we wanted to see in, did we, today? No, I mean, Oxford, there's so much to see in Oxford, it's, it's a lovely place, it's absolutely amazing. It was beautiful, wasn't it? Yeah, very historic and loads to see there. It's well worth a trip. It was really worth a trip. Yeah. We're last seen somewhere. The last place you saw us was Oxford. Where will we be seen next? Why not subscribe and find out?